Hello everyone and welcome to my replay of the Banner Saga. Now the reason I'm replaying it is because I intend to make a blind playthrough of Banner Saga 2. So I realize I've never done a series on Banner Saga 1 and uh, I want to like refresh my memories of Banner Saga 1 before I I play Banner Saga 2 anyway. So yeah, we're doing the Banner Saga. <laughs> This game is a Kickstarter game, I think, and it's made by uh, former Bioware employees who left sometime during the production of Dragon Age Inquisition. So, me being a Dragon Age fan is going to be interesting. But yeah, enough muffling and, and duffling. Let me uh, make sure that the game has... English is fine. But I was thinking of, uh, okay, it does. It has uh, some subtitles. That's what we want. Okay, new game. I haven't played this in years, so it's basically a blind playthrough anyway. But I have completed it before. I believe I have like 29 of the achievements <laughs> for the game. Okay. The gods are dead. In their wake, man and giant survived through a tenuous alliance, driving black destroyers called Dredge deep into the northern wastes. Now as an era of growth and trade, life goes on. Only one thing has stopped, the sun. It has been several long months on the road. The first signs of snowfall accost us on our approach to Strand, largest of the trade cities on the wild human borders, and our last collection before returning to the capital. Several days ago, the sun simply came to a stop in the sky. Though during these long winter days, none of us can be certain how long it has been this way. Some of the men in the caravan have taken it as a dire omen. I am not quick to superstition, but I myself will be glad to be done with this year's rounds. Yeah, I would. I would be too. We That's have been warned by man. stranded travelers about the brigands on the path through Richhorn, our road home. Our captain seems unconcerned. Perhaps he is as eager as I to be done here. We will rest here this day and inquire further when we speak to the governor. is fucking gorgeous in this game. Guess we're going directly into a fight, fa battle. Yeah, a battle. A fight. <laughs> a battle. What does it say? Fight, fight and battle at the same time. <laughs> oh, Banner Saga. Now, this is a modern classic, honestly. We've arrived just in time. The Chieftain in Red and his men are now looking at a tougher fight than they bargained for. Drag around the screen to see your surroundings. Click check mark to continue. Okay. Beautiful, beautiful. Fucking environment. Look at this shit. There's a bear over here. This art is so god. This is a gorgeous game. These portraits show the order of initiative. Taking turns from left to right. Your allies are blue, the enemy's red. It's your turn to act. 
Movement happens before action. This ring shows your shield banger is active. The blue tiles around him show where he moves. Some characters fill more tiles than others. The Honda allies are giants. A race of giants called Val. We take up four tiles each, while humans fill a single tile. This can have a huge impact on strategy. Let's go over here. The target and enemy click the tile on which they stand. You choose to either attack the enemy's strength or break his armor. Strength counts as both health and damage. A loss of two strength means you you'll now do two less damage. If strength falls to zero, the character falls in battle. Armor blocks strength damage but can reduce by break attack. This enemy only has five strength remaining. A remaining a strength attack will kill him. Click the fist now to attack and confirm. Plus one renown. He's down. Each time you make a kill, your renown grows, which is used later to improve your characters. I've taken an action. Your turn ends. Next up is your enemy. Despite being a full strength, the chieftain will do little damage when your shield banger's high armor. That's your warhawk strength. It is to be out of range of these enemies, but all characters can use willpower to boost our enemies. Willpower is a limited source, so use it wisely. Ten attacks only affect a single enemy, but your Warhawk has a special to give its ability that gives him unique advantage. There we go. Let me make quick work of the Houston's bodyguards when there's only one enemy left. Players enter pillage mode. During pillage, each character moves in order and there are no more guaranteed turns. If the character does not move on his turn, he can rest to regain one willpower. Okay, I guess we're just punching him in the face! There we go. He's out. lying dead at your feet will regret ever crossing your path if they go. <laughs> six renown! Like a rabid wolf, that one. How did it come to this? We fool ourselves believing that peace will last. My grandfather built all this from a poor fishing village, you know. Oh, he watched the gods fishing... die, watched the chaos that followed, watched man and var slaughter each other, even before the dreads arose. All we've done is traded one struggle for another. Now that there are no more threats to war against, we war against ourselves. This chieftain meant to kill me, and he's not the first. A dozen families in the city would gladly take my chair. This one had men waylaying merchants, both north and south of the city, strangling trade quite well, I would add, though he denied it to his lust. This sort of wolf doesn't stop biting because the head is cut off. It just grows a new head. I'm in a bad way, my friend. Help me finish this fight and I'll gladly send you on your way with Doppler King's tithe. Take any men you need. They're loyal. I promise you that. They will meet you down in the proving grounds. Well, that's, uh, sure, that's quite the offer. Chapter 1, only the sun has stopped. Very, <laughs> very, you're approached by family man who walks in to s in step with you as you're leaving the great hall. He cuts you to the chase. Eric, steward of Strand, I manage the governor's business. You've been, isn't it? Uh, it is. The governor tells me you're giving us a hand. Uh, what did you have in mind? Scalfings that you didn't hack up in the great hall scattered after you took out their chieftain. 
The governor just wants to make sure they stay down. Was hoping you'd join me at the marketplace by the ducks. If there's anyone left to worry about, I know who can tell us. The market tent is the merchant. Let me handle this. You meander through rows of open-faced houses and eroded stalls. Colored canvases flap on your briny on a briny current. One man in particular blanches as you approach. Had I'm not in the mood today. For what? Talking to an idiot. Scalping Stevenson played out an hour ago, Had. So when you tell me what rat anus the rest of them crawled back into, nobody's going to try to kill you this time. I don't talk. To they don't talk to me. Do you need some help here? Had I had a chance of heart. I hope you do. I hope you do give us a hard time. Had sweats visibly fumbling with some dirty trinkets on his on his table. Wait, just buy one of these. If everybody thinks I'm getting worked away every week, how am I supposed to know much? Just a little food money, yeah. Right, sure, we'll pay him. He tosses a sliver of silver on the table. Both men look at you with surprise. Had guests just sneaked into a variety of junk from his stall. Take whatever you like. Only thing I'd like is the name of a place. Nobleman, up by East Wall. But that was months ago, at last I know. Has calls away the wave of Eric's hand, gathering things from his hovel. Disappearing for a while until this bl blows over you, figure. Your bodyguard stepped forward. Are we done here? Gunnulf, were you wearing green, black, green back at the Great Hall? No, just bought it while you were walking around. Why? You look good. I'm glad you care. <laughs> Gunnulf goes off to look at more stalls. Eric, that man of yours seemed unreliable at, at best. A blind dog wouldn't trust Had, but he used to be scalping. If they're licking their wounds, they've probably gone to old haunts, not new ones. No man is a meat hall? Best I can tell. The ma name's are ironic. Listen, I know a guy who would love to put a few of these skulls in the ground. I'm going to find him. I'll meet you there. Shouldn't we have an approach of some sort? What a luxury. Come on, you've already mopped up worse today. Just make sure the governor remembers his promise. D double the usual time. I'll remind him. Okay. Some supplies. Great. Renown. Options. Uh, meat house. Oh, it's up there. You're right in front of what must be noblemen. A few minutes later, Arik appears with a weather beaten man and just as Valgard. I'll point him up, Arik says. Oh, it's over. Ready? You're walking through the front door. <laughs> they ran to a meat house, says Valgard. I'll be surprised if they can stand up right now. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Valgar boosts the front door open so hard it won't close again without repair. As you enter the hall, Eirik is already at half the table, his axe drawn. Wide-eyed, drunken scalfings scramble to find their own weapons, turning tables and meat stands into the process. I mean, okay! We've already been in two fights, it's only been like... 10 minutes. <laughs> okay. What have we got here? Okay. Attack, rest, okay. Move. Okay, here we go. Punch him in the face. Here we go. No more armor for you. Resist. 
Yes, me boy. You go over here. And turn. Yeah. Ow. Over here. Oh, might hit my guy. Eric, no! Whose turn is it? Oh, it's this guy's turn. Okay. No more shield for him. Kill this guy. Get him out of the way. Ow. Kill this guy. Ow. He's running us through. Shit. Okay. I'm going to punch the shit out of these guys. That guy is in trouble, it seems. Oh, what? What's going on? This guy has... No, that guy actually has full health. Huh. that's kicking our asses. <laughs> this guy's Sheila away. <laughs> Fuck! Okay. Need to go over here where you're not in everybody's I'm out of those abilities. Move. Move over here. Get him. No. No, he's dead. My guys are not feeling well. Okay. We lost our guy! Oh, I could've done better. Gunulf has been injured in battle. Oh, I thought he died.
I really thought he died there. Damn it. <laughs> there they are. Gotta be damned, I've got to wash off this blood. Eric is looking out the hall's windows onto the bay. As fleet longship approaches with sails of blood, reds, and blues. One banner I know well, Vogner. Next for Val King's ship, last we spoke. The other ship flag looks important. Yeah, important guests. See what I deal with all day long? <laughs> uh, things make a little more sense. You hope that I'd have a stake in saying everything's fine here when the royal guests arrive. Not me, the governor. Now I have to make sure there are no rotting bodies or pools of interest still in the Great Hall before they come by. Can I ask one more favor? Okay, what is it? If you happen to stall our guest down on the docks, I wouldn't object. Maybe I will. Irik and Val got a hustle from the meat house. To his credit, Irik tosses the barkeeper's spot of silver for the mess. You give an apologetic shrug and go to greet the new arrivals down the docks. Okay. That's the docks. Okay, so, thank you for watching this first episode of Banner Saga. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, this is more than anything just a really gorgeous game and I look forward to playing more of it for you guys. I hope you'll join me next time. Bye!